trying to type in the chat and it's not even working. Have a five hour energy fan on your holiday shopping list? No, you I'm not a five hour energy fan. That was my ad playing for me. Stream configuration Only is. Impact. Yes. Stream quality excellent, as it always is. Did you find that option? Mysterious option? Oh, right. Yeah, I probably should have looked into that, huh? The thing about uh, allowing people to change the stream quality. Let's look at the dashboard. Did you find? Let's see what we got here. I actually looked into that over the weekend. Apparently, if you break a certain percentage of Twitch streams with high view rates, then you'll actually be enabled for adjusting stream quality from low to high. Oh, I see. So we have to be much more popular than we are for that to happen. Apparently. <laughs> that or everyone else has to suddenly become boring for the next hour and a half aha well that would be one way to do it all right folks it is tuesday it's 8 p.m in cleveland slash what is what is that 11 a.m in sydney john what is it it's noon noon, noon in on, sydney on wednesday noon on wednesday that means of course it's time for another sentinels live Live and direct, 20 minutes into the future, we are here. Uh, we have a special guest this evening who correctly answered some trivia last week. And I will now pronounce his name correctly. You probably recognize him from the chat. His name is Nepicross. Say hi, Nepi. Hello, chat. And what was the question that you answered correctly? Uh, Chrono Rangers Birth City. And that is, of course? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. In Nebraska. Good old <laughs> Corona Ranger. AKA Jim Brooks. That's what that's what he was known by before he became the Corona Ranger. Before he was so unceremoniously ripped from his time, just taking care of his city, his town, Silver Gulch, by the rogue AI, if you will, known as Khan. So here we are, folks. Welcome to the Handelabra live stream of Sentinels of the Multiverse. As I'm sure you all know at this point, the goal of these streams is to show you how to play the game as well as cover some strategy that can help you win. As we are the developers, you always be sure to get some insight into the process and maybe, just maybe, see some stuff before anyone else. You should maybe come back next week. Hint, hint. The game includes a tutorial that covers the basics, but we always do our best to explain exactly what we're doing, when we do it, and why. Depending on how long it takes for us to win or lose, we sometimes play more than one full game in a session. And we aim for about an hour and a half per session, uh, mainly just so that Jeremy doesn't have to take the crazy train home. Sentinels is uh, available on iPad, Android tablets, as well as PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam. And you can get the game, as well as all other info and associated soundtracks and all the like, at Sentinels Digital. Dot com. So John, the other half of the illustrious Sentinels Live crew, has been traveling for the last couple days, and he has arrived at a new city. Before now, he was in New Zealand, but where are you now, jo uh, John? I am back in Australia, uh, where I was for PAX Australia uh, recently. And uh, yeah, we spent uh, a few days up in Cairns to explore the rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef. And now we're in Sydney for about five weeks to... Uh, basically try living here. So, um, getting back to work and, uh, be enjoying the holidays here in, uh, Sydney. Should be cool. Did I see that you went, like, not snorkeling, but, like, scuba diving or something on the Great Barrier? Snorkeling. So, you went snorkeling. Okay. I saw the dry suits or the wet suits or whatever. Some, some yeah, they're online. stinger suits. So, they don't really do much for, like, temperature, but they protect from jellyfish. Aha. Gotcha. Very cool. I'm definitely still jealous. <laughs> um, I got to go to Australia last year for PAX Australia, but um, we were mostly working the show. We didn't get to do a whole lot of sightseeing. So for those who don't know, I think John has mentioned it on the stream before, but basically he's doing sort of a six-month walkabout where he's spending a month in various cities across the world working while he's there full-time, but then also spending you know the weekends and the evenings exploring these cool cities. So far he's been to Auckland and now Sydney. Um, what are some of the other cities on the, on the plan? Madrid, I think, is one of them. Yeah, we're planning on going to Valencia in Spain, uh, as well as somewhere in France and Italy and the UK. So if you're in those places and want to play Sentinels, uh, let me know. I have friends in Valencia. I should hook you up when you get there. 
Cool. All right. So tonight, let's see what we got here. Online multiplayer. I believe John has a game set up for me already, uh, but I'm not seeing it. Do I need to search for it? Yes. All right. Where is... How do I do it? Find game. Where am I going? Uh, I already told you, but I can tell you again. Yeah. Uh, I, just... I, I, just I, 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 the idea was that I wasn't going to be in it for this thing. So Justice... Justice Comics number 88. 88. And if other people join, I'll kick you out. Just so you know. <laughs> I did not join the game because I do not have the required expansion packs. What? Oh, you know what? All right. Hang on, everybody. I apologize for screwing this up. I had was doing some testing earlier, and I had turned off the expansion packs. All right. Hang on a minute now. Downloadable content. Let's turn those all back on. Wait, John, improvise. Yeah, so now the stream is empty. I apologize again profusely for everybody. I should have checked this before I started up again. Although I did play a test game, but I did not realize that it was a um, core game only. I wasn't paying attention enough to notice that. All right, here uh, we go. Nep Nepi, tell us about how you got into Sentinels. I... Um, um... Well, back about four years ago, there was this gaming group of my dad, his friend, and his and my dad's friend's wife, and they just broke open Sentinels one day, and it's like, okay, hey, it's a new co-op that came out. Might have been four years, might have been more. And I fell in love with the game. They didn't really like it so much, but over time, I found other people who played Sentinels, and it just took off. Awesome. Yeah, it would have been uh, four years ago the game originally came out. So was All it right. the original original edition, the little square box? Uh, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. That one had a little more fun things to keep track of, like changing maximum HP of characters and stuff. <laughs> All right. Are you loaded up, Jeremy? I am launching again as we speak. All right, so let's see here. Cool. Fine game. There we go. I apologize for that delay. All right, so let's see. Who have we got here tonight to play? Who have I not played in a while? Let's take a look at so our So I just numbers. pressed random, by the way, so we can change the setup if you want. I like random. So let's see here. Uh, Villain-wise and environment-wise, we are the least used environment is Megalopolis, and the least played villain is currently Apostate. And I think it was a couple weeks ago that we did like an all-variant uh, game. Who do I feel like playing tonight? I think Nepicross is talking about uh, playing the Arden Adept. Yeah, I gotta get that 30 damage combo. Nothing yeah, do but. it, man. Awesome. Would you like any support for that? Uh, no, 30 damage is apparently base for Arden Adept. Okay, so you don't want like, no. Legacy or anything like that? Okay, yeah, the Legacy. Well, I mean, uh, if you want to go for it without any help... <laughs> Yeah, it's really That's weird. Apparently, any plus one turns into a total plus ten damage. Any minus one turns into a total of minus ten damage. Hmm. Evil Dice Monkey in the chat asks, "What happens to the exclusive? What happened to the exclusive color that the Handle Labernauts get? Uh, it's still there. We just don't have to use it if we don't want to." <laughs> yeah. So I chose, and icon as well. Yeah. I, I right now I'm playing as myself, by which I mean the Mad Bomber Blade. And I think I'm going to play Dark Watch Expatriate. Well, I'm going to go for Fanatic as the nemesis of Apostate. Ah, I like it. Are we going to play Advanced? Um, let's take a look the at what it is Advanced. The Unnoble. On his front side, at the start of the game, the Tome of the Unnoble is put into play. The villain deck is shuffled. Okay, so that's frustrating. The Tome of the Unnoble, is that the one that whenever you play a hero card, another villain card is played? Whenever, whenever you draw a hero card. Whenever you draw a hero card, okay. And then on his flip side, whenever a demon card is destroyed, the top card of the villain deck is played. So that is, um, I mean, I'd be willing to give it a shot. All right. Should we go yeah, with the only three? 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a shot. Here we go, folks. We got Advanced Apostate at Megalopolis versus Fnatic, Arjun Adept, and Dark Watch Expatriate. <laughs> There's something about seeing that crazy apostate with Funny Bunny on the screen that's just <laughs> not so crazy. You and I, we are the same. Join in on my crusade of truth, my child. Your lies cannot save you from your preordained end, foul one. All right, let's see what everybody's got. Fanatic starts with a, define, a, a divine excuse me, focus. End of days, final dive, and smite the transgressor. Oh, final dive is perfect for this. Nice. Yes, it is. All right. Arjun Adept's got a counterpoint bulwark, an instrumental conjuration, Saraband, Saraband of Destruction, and Vernal Sonata. And Dark Watch Expatriate starts with a flak jacket, two hollow points, and an RPG launcher. So she's got lots of ammo, but nothing to put it in to start off with. Out comes Condemnation. And Tome of the Unknowable. Somebody make a make a chat bubble to screw up uh, Evil Dice Monkey. <laughs> there it is. So it begins. <laughs> and so it begins. So does that deal psychic damage to Evil Dice Monkey for the mental torture? <laughs> yes. Unless he has some sort of minus one chat damage. All right. All right. So normally uh, I would give this to Fnatic, but that adds the um, yeah. Uh, there's Nemesis. Nemesis so. damage. So I think uh, I think I can take it. Although in the end it did apparently more damage. To, no wait, it would have been six to Fnatic. Otherwise. It would have been six to Fnatic. Yeah. And she's gonna get that other big hit anyway. So. All right. Yeah. Final dive on the tome. Though I would like to final dive the periapt. I think the tome yeah. is worth at this point. So. Throw the periapt at the tome, and it'll be even better. Yeah, actually, there you that's go. that's a really good idea. That's the way to do it. Advance oh. what? Not advanced anymore. It's like you even, didn't even do anything. <laughs> exactly. Get rid of those relics. Then I get my nice nemesis bonus against apostate. Generally speaking, if I had nothing better to play, I'd go with the Instrumental Conjuration just so I could get the draw power as well as an instrument, but I'd never like to waste a power phase for Arjun Adept, so I'm just going to go mm -hmm. ahead and put something out that'll hopefully make Fnatic a little less squishy, thanks to all that nemesis happening. Always a good decision. Yeah, the worst games are we just you only have instruments and you keep drawing more instruments and you have nothing to do. Yeah, and I guess I never really realized that Instrumental Conjuration also lets you draw an additional card at the end of it. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, so, so if you're running out of plays, it's a way to just cycle for more time. Yeah. Um, all right. So I feel like the, the obviously the RPG launcher is kind of a waste. So I guess I'm just going to get the flak jacket out and, uh, and aim and hope for some guns. Let's see what we got here. Another flak jacket. All right. Well, we'll keep waiting. Well, with we'll any luck, I up. should be able to give expats some draw in the near future. Got a police backup out, trying to help out the heroes. Fallen Angel comes out, deals each hero target two infernal damage, and each villain relic regains four. Pretty weak on the side of what cards he could play. Yeah, that's not that's not the worst that could have come out. That's for sure. And it looks like Arjun Adept is willing to take one for the team. And we're back to Fnatic, who drew, it looks like, a Sanctifying Strike on the last turn. Sooner or later, I would like to get mm -hmm. Syncopated Onslaught out. Fnatic just has so many good buffs with that. Hey, John, are you seeing that orangey, Orange Angry Orangutan has confirmed that 9.2 seems to have finally fixed... The SK error domain problem! Yep. I emailed Great. everyone today. So. Yeah. So for those who don't know what I'm talking about, about, Jesus, like almost me. six months ago at this point, uh, there was a bug that that came into iOS. I, actually, I think it was in a late version of iOS 8, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. 
that started to screw up. If you ever had a download that failed, it would sort of permanently corrupt your ability to download the thing that failed. Um, some, a lot of times it would come out of having run out of space while you were trying to download something big, like, oh, I don't know, say a season pass. But there were other things that could trigger it as well. And we've been working directly with Apple for this entire time to try and figure out how to get it fixed because it was not something that we could fix. There was just there was no way for us to fix it. It was a bug in iOS. And it finally re was released today, which means that the probably more than 50 or so people who have contacted us with this bug can finally play not only Mini Pack 2, but also Infernal Relics, because there were a lot of people who couldn't even get Infernal Relics because uh, it started happening even that far back. So Well, and a lot of people would, the first thing they tried was delete the app, uh, which would not fix it because it was corruption within iOS, and then they would lose And then they would lose all their previous, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ugh, not fun at all. All right, so I, down, I drew another, uh, some more ammo. Ammo, ammo everywhere, and not a gun to fire. You're driving a whole ammo truck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I think I'm just going to skip, skip, and hope that with two card draws I get at least one gun in them. More rounds. And, ah, there we go, an assault rifle. That'll work. Wow, the environment's being pretty generous to us today. And we've got another Don't worry, there's backup. still time for us to not be able to do anything. Yeah, I'm not too fond of being locked down, so I may as well try and get that Saraband out soon. There's lots of police showing up saying, who's this crazy black-winged character chilling out in Megalopolis? All right. <laughs> More fourteen seventy is taking me to the gun show. <laughs> I think I might actually get out the chat's favorite card. Zealous offense. Speaking of zealous offense, where's uh where's Silverleaf? I feel like we haven't seen her in a while. I know she well, was in she was, she Texas. was traveling to the States. Yeah, she was in Texas for uh What's it called? BGG Con. There's the Saraband of destruction. Yeah, I figured sooner or later we're just gonna have to blow up the police. <clears throat> it's Richard not very says heroic. she's either dead or distracted by rabbits. I hope it's the latter. All right, let's see if we can can't get expat something better. Nope, same as always. All right, so I can finally get some gunnage out. We got the assault rifle. Um, let's see here. What does condemnation do again? At the end of the villain turn, deal the hero target with the highest HP three melee damage, and the gauntlet is whenever may, whenever apostate deals damage. All right, so what do we think? I'm definitely gonna hit the gauntlet, but should I hit condemnation? I mean, what else are you hitting? You're hitting three things. Oh, there's there three, three things. things. That's right. It's three things. Hit them all. Hit them all. None are spared. Yeah, this is not like Citizen Dawn last week, where you want to avoid hitting things sometimes. Yeah. Usually. Ah, yeah, worst. I thought, for some reason, I thought my assault rifle was only two targets, not three. Uh-oh. And all these police action has brought out the paparazzi. They want to know what's going on. Which means we got to be careful. Can't use any powers. Uh, that's awful, because that means zealous offense is going to go down unless you waste smite the transgressor. Uh, it's not really a waste. You don't get all the effect, but look at this. Lovely relics. Relic, relic, relic. Well, I can say that the gauntlet cannot deal damage. And there's nothing else that actually deals damage. So, uh, Because apostate deals the damage from condemnation.
Yeah, the frustrating thing about when you're playing against um, Apostate with Fnatic is that end of days is not as useful as it is against a lot of others. Because one of the main things about end of days is that it does not affect relics. Uh, it kills everything in play other than this card, character cards, and relics. So um, that can be pretty annoying. It only really helps after you've managed to get rid of the relics and the runes managed to pull so many demons from the trash. Yeah, but... exactly. When there's demons in play, yes, there you go. All right. Can't really think of anything to do with this board, so instead I think I'm just going to fish for an instrument and draw. I'm always partial toward... Let's see. Well, I could do Akpunku's drum, since I don't have any harmonies that'll actually do any good for a while. But since I can't use a power anyway, this is just for the sake of getting set up. Mm -hmm. Well, there's your syncopated onslaught. Yes. Part of your damage combo. And he draws I've into my got, favorite card of Argent Adepts. Yeah, I've actually got four of the five ongoings needed for the 30 damage combo in my hand. Cool. All right, so what do you think? Should I blast that paparazzi with my RPG? <laughs> well, uh, I think we've got discards we could throw at it. That's true. I mean, we, you know, I have a number of cards. I, I'm happy to, down, to discard one of these flak, extra flak jackets. Yeah, and you'll never get ammo if you have to spend your turns getting rid of pesky environment cards. Plus, we might want to save it for an apocalypse, because that would absolutely ruin us if we weren't able to play cards or something like that. Well, I have two end of days. Oh, right. Yeah, so this is where we get into and the discussion. And you have Saraband of Destruction, so... Oh, yeah. So we could tackle that any time. And this yeah. is where we once again discuss the difference between the way that Jeremy plays this game and the way that almost anybody else plays this game. Which is the RPG launcher would allow me to kill that card and then do damage right now, and so that's almost always what I would do. You won't but be able I... to do very much damage, though. True. Because they, everything has a minus two. All right, so what would you guys do? Would you load, some, load up that assault rifle with... Um... I'd put hollow points in the yeah, assault Yeah, I've got rifle. some hollow points. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll put some Next hollow turn. points in the assault rifle. It could be very useful to have, at some point, uh, Expat being able to take out both the runes and the effigy. I don't think I need two end of days. And as much as it pains me, uh, I would be better to have Sadistic Dissonant in case we ran into, like, the orb. So I'm going to be throwing away one of the Sherzos. You can always get it back. Oh, yes. And I'll get rid of one of my excess flak jackets. And everyone knows that police are afraid of heights, so they cannot possibly follow. Exactly. Uh, oh, Gaffa Dream! Go. Thank you for the prompting. I was gonna actually give you guys a Fallout update, uh, and then Gaffa Dream asked for it. So I am. I feel I'm. I'm about to finish. I'm about to actually go right back and finish off the main quest because I feel myself starting to get Fallout fatigue, which is um, the same thing that I've had happen both with Fallout Three and with New Vegas. Which is that um, there's just so much to do in these games that at some point I'm just like, all right, enough already. I'm at like level 46, so I feel like I'm doing pretty well, and I think I'm about to mainline the full the full main quest and sort of find out what's going on with the institute. So, so thank you for the prompt, and there's my Fallout update. All right. Well, while you're saying that, the Orb of Delirium came out. Of course it did. All right, Gauntlets, you can't deal damage. Stop being annoying. Oh my goodness, we got a second person who gets OCD over the, the chat bubble. <laughs> More 1470. All right, guys, I'll, I'll click on it. Beep, Showing beep, mercy. Beep, You'll beep, never boop. be as good as apostate. All right, so are you going to use um, sadistic dissonant on that? Oh, yeah, I have to. We don't have the damage to get over it without a lot more setup. Okay. Um, just thinking of what I want to play then. I'm 
guess either Holy Nova or Divine Focus. Holy Nova won't get through the DR though, so that's kind of a waste. And I don't have enough cards for Divine Focus. Well, if you played Divine Focus now and just skipped a bunch of turns, you'd be able to prayer of desperation at w one point later on. Right. Yeah, I uh, think I'll. I'm just going to use Holy Nova. I'm probably not going to end up using it later, anyways. So we'll get the hit points and do some damage. And it would probably be a good idea to get rid of that rooftop combat when we can, because right now he out damages us. Yeah, this will do. On my turn, I've done nine already, so. The next damage to apostate will destroy it. Yep. And looks like I'll need to do the perform for this one. Whoa. Currently, I'm probably going to get less use out of the drum because that would require me to pop an environment or ongoing anytime I use it. So I'm going to just get rid of it. This orb is finally gone. I mean, it wasn't there very long. <laughs> finally gone. <laughs> All right, so I've got hollow points in the assault rifle. I think I'm just going to get the, the submachine gun out unless someone has a better idea. Sounds good to me. Right now you have a slight damage buff from rooftop combat. Yeah. Yeah, you could use assault rifle and hit apostate last. All right, so... So you could chip down the runes and the effigy, so what I would do. So not get rid of the second, the low gauntlet of perdition? It can't deal damage. It's not doing okay. anything. Okay. All right. If you chip down the runes uh, and the, and the uh, effigy, then next turn you can destroy them. And then apostate for five. I'll need to give you a damage buff to make up for rooftop combat because we wouldn't have enough for the relics it at that point and out comes mm -hmm. uh, i gotta draw hair, uh, hair trigger reflexes so someone can discard for this um I can i've got probably. two super tonics and i only ever need one sure great ow oh. Got a fallen angel coming out. All that work. <laughs> Ow. Too much negative healing. <laughs> also known as damage. <laughs> I don't know. All the relics just healed to me. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Oh. And he's also hitting us all. Well, there's that. But I was talking specifically about the fact that we've been, like, knocking them down with the hopes of knocking some of those relics out, and now that's all been erased. Well, we'll just have to try again. We're heroes. We can do it. Worst case scenario, we always just flip apostate and have him pick off his own relics. Yep. I had actually go. played against Apostate like seven or eight times before I ever even flipped him. It's handy yeah, if he has... I mean, if he has Effigy, Runes, Orb, and all his other junk out, then it's good to have him get rid of it hmm. for you. Yeah. But his other side can be really obnoxious. And I'm thinking attack buff. Just so that there's a bit more kick to it. Dark Watch That's Expatriate appreciates it. Yeah, I think Expat has a place set up. On the other hand, Fnatic could use some help. Yeah. Ah, Cadence, finally. There we go. Alright, so let's see. I've got my assault rifle, machine, machine, machine gun. Hair trigger reflexes is not super useful against apostate, especially on advanced, I feel like. Well, his advanced doesn't have to do with that, but 
That is true. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. Plus, if you were to aim and hair trigger re reflexes, then any imp pilfer that came out would just instantly die. True enough. All right, so let's see here. I've got... Yeah, so, like, I've got some rounds that I could load into my assault rifle or my submachine gun. Yeah, I, like, I would play hollow points. Yeah, hollow the gun. points on the submachine gun seems like the best play right now. Lots yeah. of damage. Plus, Why? there's also something to be said about the fact that if the runes and corrupted effigy both go down to four, then the final die will pick them up both off at once. Hmm. All right, there isn't any benefit to going in any particular order here, right? Nope. All right. Shoot, 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 shoot. So we've got a request. What is the advance on Apostate's flip side? Uh, basically, it has something to do with demon cards. Let's take Whenever this. Whenever a demon is destroyed, he plays a card. There you go. Thank you, John. And there's an Impilferer, as we were just saying. Oh, good. That's its situation. Let's see. Fanatic's not going to be playing any cards in the next round. So. Yeah, if you guys need all your stuff. I can get rid of Zealous Offense. It's saving us some damage, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Uh, well, your power will still do a total of six damage to Apostate when you need to get to that, but aside from that... Hmm. I am not volunteering to lose any of my cards. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you guys want to do with yours is fine with me. Well, in Are that you going to destroy hot situation? Uh, yeah, I'll be doing the Sarabound when I can. It's a shame I don't have any instruments that couple with it, but that's probably for the best in the end. Okay. So, what could I give up? Sadistic, doesn't it? <coughs> well, let's see what he has in his deck that could be a problem. He's got Relic Spirits, Fiendish, Pugilist. Yeah, there's really no risk that he's going to play anything obnoxious that I can't pick off or that you guys can't pick off. Mm -hmm. And we can stop these guys again. All right. See, I'm I, I can't do... I also like ginger beer, especially when it's in a Moscow mule. <laughs> I just keep whacking apostate. Yeah, I mean apostate's down to twelve. So what is it when he if he goes down to zero, he takes what the highest HP relic, or is it? A uh, the lowest, lowest the HP. lowest on this side, mm -hmm. and the highest on the other, I think. Yep. Hmm. Yep. How important is it that expat gets to play? Probably pretty important. Lots of ammo that could be put on. So, yeah, I'll be popping the environment then. I mean, she would play... She would play something that, that would give her plus one damage. Or you could just give her plus one damage. Oh, yeah, that's actually a much better and, idea. And something else, as long as we're okay uh, with everyone discarding. In which case, I'll switch to using Zoo's Bell. I don't really have anything I could miss if I discarded. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have a problem discarding. Yeah, and, and we'll get an extra draw if you do that instead. So, All right, can we go back, Jeremy? All right. So the damage buff will go to Expat and Fnatic. You'll probably be able to flip them this turn, and then we can get the annoying stuff out of the way. Expat has plenty of plays. Fnatic has a couple. Let's do Fnatic's. Still and need Alexis. another power to use. Uh... 
All right. Yeah, if you use assault rifle, you can take out the pilfer. As well as weaken the effigy and runes just a little bit more. Because if the rune spirit came out, we wouldn't be able to final dive them. Mm -hmm. Or relic spirit, whatever. All right, so relics all down to three, except condemnation. Morph1470 asks, when are we getting the termination promos? I think you get them from the store when you order something on Greater Than Games. So check that out. Wah, wah. <laughs> to answer the implied question, when will they be in the game? In the video game, that is. Uh, that is a good question. Um... Maybe you should think about how, like, what is the storyline of what they're associated with, and when do you think that's going to be in the video game? Think about that. Ha ha ha. Just think about that. And to be fair, we found out that termination promos were a thing three days before the rest of the world found out about it. <laughs> Special privileges. <laughs> Well, we were kind of expecting to find out about them a little bit ahead of that. Um, but, yeah, so so we were like, oh, so there's going to be more promos, eh? Uh, so, yes, they're not in... Uh, they're definitely not going to be included in Shattered Timelines or Wrath of the Cosmos. So, yeah. Someday, you'll see them. Good thing we got rid of that imp, or there would be... T We'd have to destroy four cards. Oh, gosh. It's one of the few exponential situations in Sentinels. Yeah, we only have seven cards out. That would be terrifying. All right. I think we can get rid of Zealous Offense now. Yeah, chances are we'll be nuking anything that could deal damage over the next round. Uh, I know that uh, Migrant P has access to the playtester forum. I could have I it if have. I wanted, or, well, any of us could have it if we wanted it, but the fact of the matter is, is we're so busy with testing what's going on in us, uh, that a lot of times we just, we wouldn't have time really to participate and, and see what's going on in the playtester forum, so. At some point, we may catch up to the point where, you know, the video game is sort of equivalent with the with the tabletop game but until that time we have too much stuff going on our own side to be worrying about what they're working on uh i realized something if you focus on apostate right now and i give expat two more buffs to damage then her submachine gun will take out anything with three health or less hmm well, she could play incendiary rounds on her submachine gun also. Right, so I would just need to give one damage buff. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I can use, I'll use the damage on something else then. So let's go back to play a card. I still need to destroy the runes though. Yeah. In fact, I think the odds are he'll flip this round and break condemnation as a result. Not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll have to order the damage carefully. Yeah, uh, getting rid of that pile up is gonna be important. I'm going to see. Oh wait. Uh So we only yeah, we only need 1 plus 1 on expatriate. So Yeah, I'm thinking of kind of a crazy play where we use uh RPG launcher on my turn using Alacritus, then chain another power usage and give like a damage buff or something. Do you have a way to do that? Yeah, perform. I would have to blow up Alacritus, though. Then I'd be able to both Zeus, Bell, and, lo and vocalize. Oh, I see. It's either that you, or... So your the RPG launcher would have to have an after. 
Yeah. Which so it's either that or risk an arcane cadence. Or I go the safe route and inspiring supertonic and try to heal up a little bit of the damage, but shouldn't be a disaster. Yeah, I mean, I'll... if we really want to uh, get rid of the traffic pileup, it makes sense. To yeah, go we that. shouldn't skip more than two or three more draws, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. With any luck, this should clear out most of the field. So what am I? I'm RPG laundering here? Uh, yep. The pile up so that we can hopefully whittle down a couple of things. I'm not actually yeah. sure which ones. Does it matter what I hit or something? Don't over damage the... apostate. Don't damage apostate. So what am I trying hit to condemnation take? Condemnation and something else. Condemnation and one of the others? Okay. The other doesn't matter. You're going to kill it with your submachine gun anyway. Yeah, so I guess I'll just hit one of the impilfers. <laughs> So as long as we hit apostate last, then everything should resolve normally. All right. So kill the pilferer. Kill the gauntlet. Kill the other gauntlet. So Evil Dice Monkey says Condemnation was a bad choice there because he's going to kill it no matter what HP. But, I mean, it, we're, we're an overkill I mean, you situation. Have, because You could have hit one of the heroes. There's nothing else for you to hit. Yeah, I know. That's exactly <laughs> it. Like, everything else is going to get killed uh, by this play right now. So... And there goes Apostate. He kills his sword and flips over. He's blue. And now all he's got is 20, hit, 20 blue hit points. And as long as he doesn't play... Actually, he's played all of his relics. That's incredible. So if we can just do 20 damage over the next round, that's an easy win. Um, I wonder... I can, I've can. i got two speed loadings, so I can, I can discard for this. Okay. Sounds good. Remorseless provocation. Sure. Fallen angel. Well, I mean, he did some damage to us. And you. Go speed loader. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going to be healing five every round, so we have to overcome that. Get ahead also. of that, yeah. That divine focus, how much damage would you deal with a damage buff? Yeah, it's going to be four every turn, so. Or card. I'm, I'm going to go with that. And I'll have far, up to five cards to use with it. This was on advanced, and we even played like two of the lock, three of the lockdown cards that Megalopolis has. Well, it's got more. <laughs> oh, just hostage situation, I guess, coming up potentially. Fairly decent. All of the damage. <laughs> Usually I don't like blowing up Alacritus, but this close to the end game, there's really no point holding back. When we're in a situation like this, I always think about the movie Gattaca. You guys ever see the movie Gattaca? Nope. Some time ago. Yeah, so, so the whole thing there was that he 
would sw there was this swim contest that he would do against this guy um, about swimming as far out as you can and then turning around and swimming back. And his goal, his what he said was the way that I beat you was that I never ever saved anything for the swim back, and that's kind of how I play this game. Like <laughs> damage, 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 damage. If I don't make it, fine. But if not, I don't save anything for the for the swim back. All right. Uh, what should, let's see. You already have a submachine gun in play. Yeah. I already have a submachine gun, so let's get out Prejudice. And then that's going to do two projectile damage. Four. Yeah. You have there's two nothing buffs else in the thing, so we'll just do that. And apostate's down to seven, and there's my shotgun. I was hoping for that with the other card. I will continue to discard cards. Uh, I was hoping the police would come out. <laughs> I guess they're already all gone. Oh, and this is going to be it. Yeah. Good kill. Or incapacitation. My bad. No, nah, when it's the <laughs> hero, or when it's the uh, villain. Yeah, he's destroyed. He's destroyed. Put him and, under savage mana. And there, go yeah, and there goes the victory music. All right. Quick 46 minutes, and we are done with advanced apostate. Knocking these out left and right. All right, chat. Who are we playing 